Today we are going to talk about the Eddie Bauer Igniter 20 degree sleeping bag and let you know how it did in the 25 degree test we just did. Now this one's back in the storage sack, not the way you're supposed to store things. I only got so much room and I will not be using this <laughs> sleeping bag for a while. So it goes into the compression sack. So here it is, the Eddie Bauer Igniter 20. What are our thoughts on this? Well, it actually had a reasonable top end uh, temperature in this test, and uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. But let's talk about one thing that was very noticeable. There is no baffle. I'll take that back. There's a very, very tiny baffle right here. You just see it's like a bump. You know, it's like a, it's a little bump for your draft collar. And you will absolutely feel cold air coming in when you move around because there is no baffle for your chest that goes around your back or anything like that. So, you know, below 30 degrees, absolutely not. Even though that it said that it was 70 degrees at the end of the test, there were cold spots in here. It just was not the greatest experience at 25 degrees and I wouldn't recommend it anywhere below 30. So let's talk about the test. What exactly do I do? Well, I go outside, I take the bag outside with me. I go outside and I let the bag open, set it down, and I stand out there for five minutes just to get adjusted to the climate. I don't want to go from inside my house to outside and then jump right into the bag. I want to get chilled off. I want the bag to get chilled off. So I open it up all the way, let it sit there for five minutes. I stand outside for five minutes and I get in the bag and I put the thermometer uh, gauge uh, right on my chest here. And then we let it roll for 30 minutes. See how warm it gets after 5, 10, 20, and 30 minutes. Now this bag is actually somewhat reasonably priced compared to the Karakorum 20 that I previously uh, did a video on uh, yesterday. This is $239. Uh, the Karakorum 20, which is down, is $450. And this technically performed better. Uh, this is definitely a little bit of a cooler bag. I can kind of feel around the bag. Like I said, there were some cold spots. So this doesn't perform as well overall as the Karakorum. Uh, but they're both definitely not under 30. Um, and, you know, this does not pack up as small as down would because it is synthetic insulation. Synthetic usually doesn't pack down as much as down. So on the igniter, it started out at uh, 47 degrees. So that was actually the highest anything has started out out of these four bags I tested the other day. Uh, 46, 43, and 37 were the temperatures of the other bags. Uh, this one was 47. You know, after five minutes, it was 54 degrees. After uh, 10 minutes, it went to 59 degrees. After 20 minutes, it was at 66 degrees, which technically was warmer than any bag at 30 degrees of the other three that I tested. And then at 30 minutes, it bumped up another three degrees to 70. So it seemed like it, it was actually really teetering off uh, compared to some other ones. Um, you know, 66 and then 70 um, isn't really that great. A three, you know, in 10 minutes, it only bumped up three more degrees. Um, the VOD bumped up five. And uh, the Mountain Warehouse bumped up almost six degrees in uh, the last 10 minutes of testing. So this one wasn't a top performer. It was okay. Um, this Eddie Bauer Igniter 20 was actually the second worst out of the four um, when it comes to the percent of increase. So the percent of increase is where did it start, where did it end, and what percent of increase did, you know, warmth did you increase by. Um, the Karakorum was about 35%. The VOD was around 41% uh, increase. This one was like 33%. So 32, 33%. So it wasn't that great. It started out the, the warmest as far as a starting temperature, so you gotta take that into effect. And uh, didn't really, you know, do that well. You know, I use this one more so like 35 degrees, you know, at night. I'll uh, give this to somebody. I don't normally use this one, but, you know, kids, family, whatever, they'll use this one, um, you know, at 35 degrees. And they're comfy, it's a spacious bag. Um, you know, it's good for car camping wouldn't really recommend it as like a go buy thing. Um, I would definitely recommend Sierra Designs, Voluntray before I would do any recommending of this bag. So even so, 
even though on the side here you can cinch this down, which I do. I usually try to keep just a small opening uh, around my face. Even though you can cinch that down, this design, you know, it's not that great of a zipper baffle. It's okay, not great, not really full. Um, the zipper itself, just a basic zipper. Just like any other Eddie Bauer bag, you can see that the zipper gets caught extremely easy. Um, wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, I think there's definitely better bags out there, and I'd uh, say that even though this did well at the final mark of what the temperature was right here, the rest of the bag felt cold um, in spots. It wasn't a very good overall experience, so I wouldn't really recommend this bag, and that's how it uh, performed. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. Uh, if you have this bag, go ahead and put down below what your experience is with it and what your thoughts are. Um, stay tuned for more of these videos as uh, they come out. I got a great cold front coming out for uh, coming through for some zero degree bags that I'm going to be testing. Uh, we're going to test those probably around 10 degrees if I can get that there. Um, I also have some 15 degree, a 10 degree, and a 5 degree bag. Uh, we can test those around 10 to 15 degrees and see how they do. So stay tuned for more. And until next time, later.